Let's discuss problem number 9.21 standard 12 physics NCRT textbook ray optics chapter. So we are given that we have two lenses concave and convex and their focal lengths are 30 cm and 20 cm. Now the gap between these two is 8 cm. Now they are saying that if you pass the light from here and find the final image distance and if you pass the light from the other side and then find the final image distance would those two image distance be same or not that is what we are supposed to verify and we are also supposed to find the effective focal length which I am going to do at the end of this part so first of all since the position of the object is not given then by default we will consider that the rays are parallel and the object is at infinity so the rays coming from this side are parallel to the principal axis which means the position of the object is infinity now of course we know that the rays are going to converge at the focus and the focus of this let's find out where it is right so that would be of course 30 centimeters from this side but let's apply the lens equation 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u please understand that sign conventions are very important so 1 upon plus 30 because the focal length has uh, the focal length of the convex lens is plus 30 right because the rays would be converging on the other side of the optical center of the lens then 1 upon v minus 1 upon u is infinity for this case so which means that v is equal to plus 30 and since the image is image distance is positive so in the direction so 30 centimeters from the optical center so somewhere over here this is the first image i1 and this is the object at infinity for this lens and the image is over here and let's draw the position of the image so something like this like this correct so this image is now going to behave as the object for this particular lens and we should understand that this is not a real object because the rays are converging towards this lens so the object is going to be a virtual object so this image is going to behave as virtual object if you don't understand what the virtual objects are link is in the description please watch that video now since this is a diverging lens so it would be diverging the lens outwards but let us find the image distance and object distance again by using the lens equation this lens equation if we use for this lens then f is negative now please understand that this is the object for this lens and the object distance u is along the direction of incident ray and this will be 22 centimeters because this distance is 30 minus 8 so this becomes 22 centimeters plus because this distance is in the direction of the incident ray because now this is the incident ray for this lens so it will be plus 22 shifting this on the other side so minus 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 22 is equal to 1 upon v so that means the final image distance v v would be minus 220 centimeters i hope you can just solve this particular part by your own right this goes on the other side just take the lcm you will get the final image distance in this way okay now this image distance is minus 220 centimeters from the optical center so minus means in the opposite direction so the final image would be formed on this side of the lens correct so ideally what I should be saying is this ray is diverging in this way this incident ray would be diverging like this and again this would be also diverging like this and when I extend them backwards suppose the final image is formed over here and this distance this final image I2 this image distance is 220 centimeters from the optical center of this lens correct now let us do the similar thing over here but this time the rays are coming from the left hand side and falling on the concave lens first like this now this is diverging lens so the rays would be diverging 
like this and they would be forming a virtual image over here i1 and we know that the image is going to be formed at focus so this distance would be the focal length but still let's apply the lens equation this is minus 20 centimeters please understand that this is the concave lens its focal length is negative 1 upon v minus 1 upon object is at infinity because rays are parallel it's not specified in the question so we'll take the object at infinity so v is equal to minus 2 22 centi sorry minus 20 centimeters so the this distance where the image is formed with respect to optical center is 20 centimeters on this side because this is negative against the direction of incident ray this is 8 centimeter distance between both the lenses now this image is going to behave as an object for this lens right and since the rays are falling on the object like this these are the diverging rays right and this is going to be the object so the object distance for this lens is 28 centimeters i hope you understand the image for this is going to behave as the object for this once again 1 upon f 1 upon v minus 1 upon u focal length of this lens is positive so 1 upon plus 30 is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u now this object distance all distances are measured from the optical center now this distance is against the direction of incident ray so minus 28 centimeters take it on the other side minus 1 upon 28 is equal to minus minus plus on the other side minus 1 upon v now if you are going to solve this you will get your answer v as 420 centimeters but you will get the answer as negative 420 centimeters right so this i leave it up upon you just do the lcm part and get the answer now the thing is here minus sign means for this lens the image is against the incident ray so which means i should be saying that the final image is 420 centimeters with respect to this one so from here the distance of the final image would be 400 let let me call this as i2 because the paper hands over here so this distance suppose if it is 420 centimeters i'll show also the ray diagram so i should say the final image is formed at 412 centimeters behind this lens because this is 8 so final image on this side at 412 here the final image here the final image was you see that this distance is 220 right so 220 that is with respect to this lens so that means minus 8 so 212 behind this lens correct so final image i2 is formed 412 centimeters behind this lens and let's understand by the ray diagram since this is converging lens so it will be little bit converging it instead of going straight little bit converging it like this inwards instead of going straight little bit converging like this so if you extend it backwards you will get your final image i2 here correct so final image i should say image 412 centimeters behind concave lens whereas in this particular case the final image was at 220 centimeters behind this lens so 212 centimeters behind this lens this distance is 212 centimeters so i should write down final image at 212 centimeters behind convex lens so it actually depends that from which direction you are passing the light so whenever there are lenses with separation you need to be very careful that from which direction you are passing the light that matters a lot now let's find the equivalent focal length which is given by this formula 1 upon equivalent focal length that is equal to 1 upon f1 plus 1 upon f2 minus d upon f1 f2 this is the formula when the thin lenses are not in contact with each other right so this is convex lens so 1 upon plus 30 plus 1 upon minus 20 because this is concave lens minus d upon f1 is 30 
plus 30 and this is minus 20 so this becomes 1 upon 30 then this is minus 1 upon 20 and minus minus becomes plus and this d is 8 so divide by 600 right so this is 1 upon equivalent focal length and then you reciprocal please do the calculations by yourself you will be getting the answer that is the equivalent focal length right that this i leave it upon you correct okay now let's go to the b part to understand the problem now the b part says that the object of height 1.5 centimeter is placed in front of the convex lens and the gap between both the lenses is now 40 centimeters so what will be the final magnification right of the equivalent lens system so we know that uh, if the magnification of this is m1 and the magnification of this is m2 whether the lenses are in contact or not in contact the equivalent magnification is the product of both the lenses right so i am interested in finding m1 into m2 that is the equivalent magnification okay and then the final height of the image will be found with respect to this formula so let us apply the formula 1 upon f1 is equal to 1 upon v1 minus 1 upon u1 now this is the lens formula for this particular lens now i just made a very small error the distance between the convex lens in the object is 40 centimeters like this one so which means this is the object distance so applying 1 upon plus 30 that is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon the object distance is minus 40 because it is situated on the on that side of the uh, lens left hand side of the lens so if you solve this 1 upon 30 minus minus plus again it becomes minus this is equal to 1 upon v so this answer if you solve it you will get this answer as plus 120 centimeters now since the image distance is positive so this is the incident ray so the image should be formed on this side so final image over here this gap let me call this as i1 and this image distance is 120 centimeters correct and again the gap between both the lenses is 8 centimeters as the previous case so now this is going to be the object for this lens so again using the same formula 1 upon f2 is equal to 1 upon v2 minus 1 upon u2 correct so 1 upon the focal length is minus 20 centimeters 1 upon v2 minus of now look the incident ray would be falling like this so this is the virtual object so the object distance is 120 minus 8 so this is 120 minus 8 so it is 112 centimeters that would be positive because all distances are measured from optical center so 112 right that would be positive take it on this side so if you just solve this you will get your answer v2 is equal to some 560 negative upon 23 centimeters now since this distance is negative so which means the image would be formed somewhere over here against the direction of incident ray correct and this distance is again measured from the optical center of this lens right now let us find out the magnification we know magnification is equal to or let me call this as v1 and u1 so magnification for first lens is equal to v1 upon u1 so magnification for the second lens m is equal to m2 v2 upon u2 right now if since we know the values we are just going to substitute it and we won't be caring about the signs right plus or minus sign that's completely fine so here if you substitute the value this is 120 upon the object distance is 40 so it is 3 centimeters sorry the magnification is 3 without unit that means the image is 3 times bigger than the height of the object and here magnification m2 would be equal to v2 upon u2 so this is 560 upon 3 divided by sorry 23 divided by 112 this is 5 by 23 correct so the final magnification the equivalent magnification is the product of both of them so 3 into 5 by 23 that is equal to 0 0.65 correct so that means the final image is even smaller than the that of the actual height of the object so hi upon ho is equal to final magnification and height of the image we need to find out height of the object is given to us as 1.5 centimeters so final image 
of this object is i2 and its height will be hi correct that is equal to 0 0.65 so hi is equal to multiplication of both of them 0 0.98 centimeters this is the answer to the problem